Hello, my witchlets, and welcome to the final day of war because I've not had time to record anything else this week. So we're going to make chili this evening, vegetarian chili, and you don't need to laugh at me. Catmates, they're great. <laughs> but I'm going to uh, be finishing, well, cameraman Ken, you can see his shoulder. Uh, is going to be finishing the prep work here and then we'll get everything set up over here on our camp stove. We have a very small setup, it's smaller than our kitchen, which is impressive. And uh, we'll get everything started here in just a moment. Okay, so even though you can't really see it, the first thing we're doing here is we are melting some squeezy ghee. Squeezy ghee! Uh, that we got it like where did we get that? The Dollar Tree? 99 cent store? I think Dollar Tree. Got it at a... Or was it grocery outlet? I don't think it was the grocery outlet. I think it was like 99 cent store or something like that. Or Dollar Tree. And uh, we discovered this week that you can't use squeezy ghee first thing in the morning. Because it is a solid, not a liquid. So in this we have a we have two cloves of garlic and an onion. I'm gonna try to not get everything everywhere, but I'm gonna fail miserably. Alright. So we're gonna start with that, we're gonna saute those and then we're gonna add some potatoes. And this is going to be the weirdest chili ever. All right, so uh, this is going to be a camp chili, a leftover camp chili. Like I said, this is the last night that we're here. We're going to wake up tomorrow morning and we're going to break down our camp and uh, head back to Los Angeles. So um, I'm using up some stuff that we have available to us and we're just going to kind of go from there. So. Basically, turn up the heat a bit. We're gonna start with this was uh, two cloves of garlic and fairly decent sized onion, yellow onion, white onion, yellow onion. And uh, I'm gonna add to this um, some diced fingerling potatoes that was given to us by a campmate, and um, some zucchini that I actually brought with me. And uh, so we're going to add that to this. And then I've got two cans of diced tomatoes with green chilies. Uh, I'm going to use a can and a half of black beans, a can of roasted green chili dice, and probably this entire jar of mushrooms. I don't have any kind of vegetable broth or chicken broth or anything like that so I'm probably going to try to mix some um, seasoning into some water to make a kind of a stock so that there's a way to flavor flavor the chili. I do have cumin, I do have chili pepper because of course I do. We're not, and, <laughs> not heated, yeah like Cameron and Ken said we're not heated. Uh, and we also have like not all of our hot sauces, but a pretty good deal of our hot sauces. In fact, I'm going to start moving things here so you can see. This is our wash station. This is how we have to do dishes. This is the... Move this up a bit there. This is our um, pantry, as you can see. Turning things around. That's how we store our trash. This is our dining table here and prep area. Cameraman can. And of course our tent, which I'm not going to show you the interior because dear Lord, is that horrifying. So, um, it's the last day. Um, obviously I have some redness going on on my face and chest and welcome to lupus. That's what my lupus rash looks like. Um, so been working today and well this week, I should say, not just today. Didn't really do much today. Follow the sun, or follow the shade when I was trying to sleep. That's about it. All right. So we have everything set up here. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, keep 
sauteing these. Well, I have this cooking on a camp stove is much different. Even though it's a gas camp stove, it's much different than cooking on like a gas camp uh, a gas stove at your house. So we're just gonna let these cook a little bit more, and then we're gonna add in the potatoes since those need to get fairly soft before we add anything else. So I'll be back in a few minutes. All right. So our onions are browned and. Uh, softens along with our minced garlic. We're going to go ahead and throw our potatoes in. And um, the potatoes are going to have to cook for a bit because they need to soften. I'm going to go ahead and season what I have in here because you want to season uh, periodically throughout your cooking process just to evenly distribute seasonings and spices. So we're gonna use the perfect seasoning here. This will be kind of like a vegetable broth based seasoning. Give this a good stir. I don't have lids for any of my pans. So we're just kind of letting the oil and natural juices of the vegetables uh, leach out, basically. All right, so I'm going to let this cook a bit, and then I'll be back in a few minutes. All right, the potatoes are still, they're not completely cooked, which is good but they're not like super raw. So we're gonna add in our zucchini. That's two zucchini that um, cameraman can dice for me. I've added some extra ghee just to make sure that things don't burn onto my pot, which is something that happened to me the other day. So I'm down a pot. That's always fun. So we're going to uh, Stir in the zucchini and let that cook for a little bit, and then we're going to add the rest of our stuff that includes some liquid. Um, we're going to add, like I said, the two cans of diced tomatoes, the can of uh, diced chilies, and the beans and um, the jar of mushrooms. So um, the beans will probably be the last thing that goes into this just to make sure that, you know, it doesn't get too mushy. So we're going to let this cook for a couple minutes and then we'll be back with more stuff. All right, so you can kind of see the color we have going on here with this. It's pretty intense. It smells amazing. I'm going to go ahead and add in our diced chili, or our diced tomatoes, I should say, two cans of that with the liquid, and I'm going to add in our diced chilies, because we like it spicy here. Yeah, I can go ahead and do that. I'm going to add in the half can of beans because it's leftovers from breakfast, first of all. And um, the texture would be probably improved by having um, some smashed beans as opposed to all these whole beans. So, um, these ones don't have much uh, liquid in them because I drained them this morning from breakfast. But we'll go ahead and stir those in. And, uh, oh yeah, I need to add the, uh, mushrooms as well. Hold the whole jar? Cameraman can, the whole jar? Why not? Because I can't open it, that's why not. There we go. With the liquid. Here's the jar. Yay, jar. Okay. And kind of it's kind of a chili stew vegetarian chili stew. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in my spices to taste. So 
so what is this? This is chili powder. This is like the main thing you need for chili. Um, this is 99 cent store chili powder. We're gonna stir this in here. Did you want this to be a chili mole? I'm not really using chili. Okay. You could add um, some chocolate to this, probably about two tablespoons of unsweetened chocolate, uh, like cocoa powder, to this and make a mole. I'm not gonna do that. We had mole earlier this, uh, this week. We had a pumpkin chili mole which I will make for you guys when I am not on a camp stove because camp stoves are fantastic, but they also suck. Adding when you can't find your cast iron. Yeah, when you can't find your cast iron. Adding in my cumin. I know, right? It sucks when you can't find your cast iron. I'm hoping we didn't ruin our pan from the shakshuka the other day. Hungarian paprika. Pepper. Salt, just a little bit. Because I think the uh, everything seasoning has salt in it. And we're gonna give this a stir. Not all of them have salt. I was going for the no salt or low salt canned goods when we were doing this. Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and bring this to a boil and then let it simmer. And when I bring it down to it, well, once it gets to a boil, I'm gonna add this final can of beans to it and uh, then we'll bring it to a simmer and go from there. So I'm gonna turn this up a bit. There we go. And we'll go from there. So I'll be right back. All right, so we ran out of uh, propane. So now we're doing butane. Last day of camp. Pack up stoves for the win. Pack up stoves for the win. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our full can of beans and the liquid just to be safe and make sure that we have enough liquid for this stew or chili or whatever it is we're making. Um, I am also going to add in the hot sauce. I hadn't added it because we had to change the fuel and stove. It was traumatic. It was traumatic. It was very traumatic. It's keeping us from chili. So we're going to use the last dab because of course we are. And I'm going to try not to like. myself here. All right, I think that's probably plenty. A little bit goes a long way with this one. Stop. Okay, dropping it on okay. is not real thing. It's helping me. And uh, we are going to go ahead and let this simmer for probably about 10 minutes and then um, it should be ready to go. So we'll be back in about 10. All right, we're, in a ground hole. <laughs> we're back. We're sitting in a ground squirrel hole because that's where we are. And we have our chili finished and we have a nice glass of red Zinfandel that our technically Baroness, but our friend gave to us um, as she was leaving. So she didn't have an open container in the car. Well, an open wine bottle in the car. There was other open containers, but wine is, when it's corked, it's difficult to to transport once you've opened it, so. That is a Zinfandel. It's um, actually not bad. It's still too red for me. It's okay. It's a White wine's too red for me. Okay, so, you wanna try it? Try it with, we're gonna do a double taste test. This will be fun. Yeah, you've never seen that before. Unless you're watching this like five years from now, then maybe you have, I don't know.
really good flavor at least. Oh, there's the spice. Hi. Sneaks up on you. Yeah, um, we're good. obviously going to add our own hot sauce. We have a whole entire box of hot sauce. So we're going to go ahead and One have... One of my new favorites. <laughs> we're going to go ahead and have dinner and uh, continue on with our evening with friends and just relaxing and having an enjoyable last day of war. And watch the sunset. Which and, watch the sun and watch the sunset. Well, if you want to adjust it so they can. Maybe. It's really pretty. It's right over here. It's right there. The sun is behind the tree. Yeah, I don't think it translates as well as I would like. It, it doesn't really translate very well, but that's okay. Well, you should be here next year. Yeah, you should just come next year. This is in Bakersfield, California, and it is a week of medieval camping and uh, medieval fighting and all of that stuff. If you are curious about what was going on, I think, I, well, I have my other camera um, that I took some videos with today and pictures from the Valkyrie Rose tournament earlier this morning. So I'll try to remember to post some of those to YouTube for you, but they will definitely be posted on my personal Facebook page and might have some clips of it posted to my Instagram page. So make sure you're following me on all of the places. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. <laughs> it's very chaotic because people are breaking, Welcome to our week. People are breaking down, down camps and such and, and leaving this evening. Um, we're going to break down in the morning and leave tomorrow morning. Yeah, we got here early to, to help set up <clears throat> all the brush fires in the area and ash down the throat. Yeah, it's been very... A lot of talking, getting to see friends. It's been very allergy riffic. <laughs> yeah, I don't have allergies, but I still don't feel well with ash down my throat. There's that too. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and uh, make sure that you, if you did, you hit the thumbs up button. If you didn't, you hit the thumbs down button. Either way, leave me a comment. Let me know what you liked, what you didn't like. And uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you know when my videos are coming out next. And uh, we'll see you next time.